Let's take a good look at, or a quick look at um, Daniel chapter 2. Most of us are familiar with this dramatic dream that the young king Nebuchadnezzar had, where he had a dream and, and he asked his uh, advisors to interpret it for him. They couldn't. They uh, called upon Daniel, and Daniel, of course, did. And he not only uh, told Nebuchadnezzar what his dream was, but he also interpreted what it meant. So that's all in chapter 2. And what Nebuchadnezzar saw in his dream was a metal image and its head was of gold, its arms and chest of silver, belly and thighs of brass, legs of iron. And uh, we're going to discover that this portrays four empires that will endure between Daniel and the fifth empire that God himself establishes on the planet earth. Just four empires, not three, not seven, four. And this last empire, the fourth one, goes into a strange phase where it's iron and iron mixed with clay. Good news is Daniel interpreted this for us. The gold, he explains, is Babylon. It's both the King Nebuchadnezzar and the empire that he represents. But he goes on to explain that you're going to be succeeded by another. And that would be the Persian Empire. And it, in turn, will be succeeded by another, the Greek Empire. And it, in turn, will be succeeded by Rome, and I'm going to call it Rome Phase 1. Because in the, in the uh, vision, that fourth empire breaks into pieces. It's divided, but then is seen to come back together in a final form, which we're just going to call Rome Phase 2. Babylon, of course, uh, was dominant on planet Earth from about 606 to about 539 BC, where it was conquered, when they were conquered by the Cyrus the Persian. And, uh, from 539 to about 332 BC when Alexander the Great uh, establishes the Greek Empire. He dies, but his four generals take over and we'll talk more about that. And ultimately though, Rome takes over uh, the Greek Empire.